Why exactly is Kruger under so much pressure? Good morning. Well, I think the big reason is simple. Um, you know, he took over this job in 2015 at an incredibly difficult moment for the global car making industry. Um, since then, we've had trade wars erupt. We've had the whole uh, huge expenditure necessary uh, for electrification in order to, to meet very strict emissions targets. We've had a provision from BMW over alleged uh, antitrust activities. So all this is, uh, is shaping up essentially as a headwind to profit. And we've seen BMW's profits decline slightly uh, since he took over. And of course, the share price has been, like other car makers, under a lot of pressure. Of course, right now, of course, people are seeking strong leadership. And the question about Mr. Kruger seems to be is, does he have a forceful enough personality and a clear enough strategy to lead BMW through this very difficult moment? So is BMW underperforming or is this also a sector wide concerns and they just think this chief executive does, doesn't have the right skill sets to to get them out of the problem? Well, my personal view is that he's a little bit unfairly maligned. I do think that BMW is still a relatively strong performer. I think it's expected to generate something like seven and a half billion of operating profit this year. In no sense could you argue that BMW is in, in any sense, sort of crisis, uh, still doing quite well in China. Yes, you could argue that perhaps BMW's products don't look as fresh as some rivals. At the same time, the company has been rather reluctant to follow up its success with the i3 electric vehicles with a slew of new electric cars. But in some respects, that's not a surprise either, because let's face it, car makers are not earning much money uh, with electric vehicles at the moment. In fact, some of them make losses. So uh, a sound business policy might be to take the wait and see approach that BMW has taken in some respects.